Okay, the last position we'd be going over here is actually if I do get in this position and Dave's a really good wrestler from the bottom position, he puts me in this position, there's really not much I can do if Dave puts me in this position. So, like I was saying, maybe I do get lazy here and Dave does get me to my hip, even with my, my, um, my lace here, Dave can still sit me to this hip and now I'm in my crab ride position. So, I look at this position as an opportunity there's a lot of things I can do here. There's a lot of turns I can go through here if I wrestle right in this position. So it might happen, it might not. If it does, you wanna be prepared for your expression from riding cross body. So the first thing I wanna make sure I do in this crab body position is my hip position. I wanna make sure my hips are on his back like I said before, but if I, if I get too low here, low in this position, Dave can start working here and start lifting my leg up and start looking for his reversal. So I always want to make sure, like I said, my hips are in that right position, kind of in this, this area in his back, his upper lower back, so I have some leverage here so I'm able to wrestle from this position. So what I like to do personally, there's a lot of things I can do here. I can attack his wrist. The most popular one here is going to be able to attack this wrist here and get him on, on his elbow. So to survive in this position, there's a lot of things you can do. My favorite is to attack the elbow and the wrist here and start looking for this hook and maybe pull him back for some near fall. Every opportunity I can score from, I'm gonna take advantage of. So if, if even if I'm in this position, some people might look at this as a disadvantage. I look at it as an advantage and a, an opportunity to turn my opponent. So I'm attacking from every position, even if I do get caught off guard. So I do, what I do a lot from this position is I shot the inside of this wrist. You can see it here from this crab ride. As you can see, I still have my leg waist here. Um, I want to attack this wrist. So what Dave wants to do in this position from the defense, Dave, you can kind of explain it here. So what Dave wants to do is, you can explain. I mean, want, well. <laughs> you want to attack my leg. You want to be able to. You know, a, lot of, a, lot of guys, a lot of guys will try to get this leg unhooked and slide yeah, down start and, and start down. grabbing the leg and turning in. And turning in. So I don't want Dave to do that. So, from preventing Dave, let me get my leg, leg laced again. So, for preventing Dave to getting my leg out and maybe shelving it on this hip, I want to be active here, but I still kind of want to be slow, but I don't want to get comfortable. So, the first thing I always attack in this position is the wrist because it's the easiest and I'm already under the arms. If I haven't stressed that already, you want to ride under the arms. A lot of guys start, start coming over the arms and Dave can do a lot of things, start grabbing my wrist reverse me from there. So I want to stay behind the arms here. I think it's very important because I can always readjust my hips if my arms are under him. If my arms are under him, I'm going to have a hard time pulling myself over the top of him. So if I have my arms under him, I can readjust my hip position and get in better position here. So let me continue. I want to attack this wrist here. So how I do that is I go on the inside. Let's say Dave is posted here and trying to wrestle and reverse me here. As soon as he started posting that arm, I want to attack and almost inside shot and grab the wrist here. Now he's neutralized, so now I can start working my offense. Like I was saying earlier, there's a couple things you can do here. I like to hook here and start rolling him back towards my left hip. So Dave posts, I'm in my crab ride position. I want to make sure my hips are in the middle of his back. I chop his wrist here and I start working my hook and I start rolling him back here. There's my near fall, and this is one of the positions that I was talking about earlier. On this position, I want to elevate this leg here, so Dave can't roll into me. It's very important that you elevate this leg here, because if I don't, Dave can roll into me, and now I'm stuck here, and I'm in a fight. I don't want to be in a fight here. I want to make sure I have score from this position. So I have my leg waist here, and then I elevate, elevate his leg so he can't roll over top of me. So let me actually show it from this angle. It might be a little bit easier. I get lazy here, or I have a really good wrestler on bottom, pulls me in this crab right position. I'm attacking this wrist here, pulling him on top of me, elevating this leg. Let's show it from here. See it again. Place it here. Boom, Dave sits me on the hip, chop it on the inside, pulling him on top. So get my near fall here. Just turn the position. There could be a potential reversal into attacking position and some near fall points. So um, that is the crab ride position. Number one, I'll move into 
a couple more moves here and look to uh, get some falls here. 